Good morning and welcome to WOW TV. Hi, I'm Frank. And I'm Darla. Today is May 22nd. Tomorrow, May 23rd, is National Taffy Day. Saltwater taffy was invented in Atlantic City in 1883. Corn syrup, sugar, butter, cornstarch, and water with a little salt is one way to make taffy. Citric acid may also be added. Taffy or chews are a type of candy similar to toffee. Darla, do you like saltwater taffy? I'm not a big fan of taffy. I like it. My favorite flavor is caramel. Did you know that we have school next that we don't have school next Monday? That's because we are celebrating Memorial Day. This holiday started on May 30th, 1868, when Union General John A. Logan declared the day an occasion to decorate the graves of Civil War soldiers. Twenty years later, the name was changed to Memorial Day. On May 11, 1950, Congress passed a resolution requesting that the President issue a proclamation calling on Americans to observe each Memorial Day as a day of prayer for permanent peace and designating a period of the, of, on that day when the people of the United States might unite in a prayer. President Richard M. Nixon declared Memorial Day a federal holiday in 1971. Memorial Day is now observed on the last Monday of May. It is an occasion to honor men and women who died in all wars. One thing you can do is purchase a red poppy from the VFW. The proceeds go to disabled vets. It also, it is also customary to honor Memorial Day by visiting graveyards and war monuments. One of the biggest Memorial Day traditions is for the president or vice president to give a speech and lay a wreath on a soldier's, on soldier, soldier's graves in the largest national cemetery, Ar Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. The ABC Days of School are continuing. Monday, May 22nd, is New Name Day. I'm going to be Fluffy Ice Cream. What will your name be, Frank? I'm going to be Twinkles Meatloaf. Tuesday, May 23rd is Outside Day, so make sure to play outside. Wednesday, May 24th is Pajama Day. You can wear your pajamas to school that day. Thursday, May 25th is Quiet Day, so surprise your teacher with a day of peace and quiet. Friday, May 26th is Reading Day, so make sure you to read a good book. There are birthdays to celebrate from May 22nd to May 26th, and here are their names. In first grade, Allison Mason. In second grade, Dakota and Danny. In third grade, Aiden. In fourth grade, Nico, Archer, and Magnolia. In fifth grade, Elizabeth, Emmy, Rio, and Hannah. In sixth grade, Brayden. There are no birthdays in kindergarten. Happy birthday, everybody. We hope you have a fantastic day. Drew Carey is celebrating his birthday on May 23rd. He will be 58 years old. He is the host of the Price of He is the host of the Price is Right. If your birthday is on May 25th, you share a birthday with Allie Raisman. She will be 22 years old. She is an American Olympic gymnast who won two gold medals at the 2012 London Olympics and another gold medal at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Now here's our weather wizard Lindsay with the forecast for this week. Hi, I'm Lindsay Weather Wizard with the weather forecast for this week. Monday, Tuesday, rainy 64. Wednesday, Thursday, partly cloudy 69. Friday, rainy 73. Saturday, sunny, partly cloudy 71. Did you know it can take up to three minutes to an hour for a card to form? That's your weather for this week. Bye. Thanks, Lindsay. On May 22, 1908, the Wright brothers were granted a patent for their aircraft. On December 17, 1908, Wilbur and Orville Wright made four brief flights at Kitty Hawk with their first powered aircraft. The Wright brothers succeeded in flying and invented the first successful airplane. The Wright brothers' names were Orville and Wilbur. They were both inventors that worked together to make the first flying airplane. Please rise for the Wyoming Bully Pledge and the Pledge of Allegiance. Today leading the pledge is Danny, Nijong, Alex, Madeline, and Kimberly from Mrs. Quillen's class. Thanks, guys. Now it's time for the Wheel of Well. Let's spin the wheel.
recognize the morning announcements. Now let's see who won the prize. Joel from third grade. Let's spin the wheel again. Guest star on Wow TV. Now let's see who won the prize. Addison from fourth grade. It's time to spin the wheel one last time. First one outside at the end of the day. Now let's see who won the prize. Gavin Trailer from third from third grade. The winner of the golden vacuum is Mrs. Quillen's classroom. Good job keeping your room clean. What a great way to show roar. Teachers, please remember to send pictures and videos if you are doing something in your classroom. Up next is a video of Mrs. Lang's fourth grade class. I'll see you next time. Have a wow test.
board is down. Sometimes fish to catch. Sometimes empty bellies to sit down. Sometimes no star to guide the way. They never knew what lay ahead. There was danger from men who would send them back, and danger from hungry beasts. But sometimes a kind deed was done. Oh, nature show a picture. It's right here for you. That's right here, Noah. <laughs> you guys also scoot up a little bit. I, I can't even see that. There you go. One day, as they hid in a thicket, a boy from a farm found them. In a bag of feed for the hogs in the woods, he brought bacon and cornbread to share. Singing low, they traveled on. Travelers. 